What's going on, guys? It's really product news. We got a heck of a video for you to hear today. This video was made on June 5th, 2013. It's an ID request from the officer, an ID refusal from the citizen. It's in Middletown, Connecticut. The name of the channel is hard to pronounce. I'll let you guys try. There it is. Bagel Man, Man B. So, we can look at this video, we can go back in time and see, is there any differences? Has anything changed in the past nine years? Going over to Bagel Man B, uh, beat me there, don't meet me there, I'll put his link in the description. But let's watch, let's go right back Right now I'm just time. asking you some questions. For, for what purpose? For uh, actually filming down back there in our private parking area. Okay, is that a crime? It is right now. Do you have your idea? No, it's not a crime. It's not right now. Can you tell me the hours? It is a crime then. No, it's not a crime right okay. now. Can you grab your ID for me, please? No. Am I being detained for a crime? Dispatch. Be out with a party. Main and am I being law. detained? Presently the right citizen now. asks, "Am I being detained?" The officer says, "Presently, right now," and then ends it. He's working in a gray area. He hasn't officially said he's being detained. If you listen, that's going to be a theme that goes on. Police love to work in the gray area. Never really answer if you're detained or not. Listen. So I can figure out what's going on? That's not a crime. Okay, why don't you grab your ID for me? No. You're refusing to ID? Why don't you tell me what crime I'm committing? Okay, right now, you're a suspicious party. That's not a crime. It is a crime right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It's not. We're getting off on a familiar foot. Suspicion. Listen, a police officer gets called to a call. It's his job to investigate. The person or people he wants to talk to have no obligation to participate in his investigation. Get out your little notepad, uh, your trench jacket, look like a inspector gadget, and okay, let's get this show on the Grab your ID for me right. so I can identify you. No. You're refusing to be ID'd right now. That's correct. Okay. Sit tight for just a second. And your name is Peck, patch number 7099. Are you okay? Are you having a medical condition? I'm fine. Okay, because you're shaking quite a bit. Yeah. Are you well, on any drugs right now? I'm talking. Are you Patrolman Peck? You've asked him three or four times if uh, he'd get his ID out for you, as if you've never said it before and didn't say it 10 seconds prior. Are you okay? Our private parking area? Okay, is that a crime? It is right now. Do you have your ID? No, it's not a crime right okay. now. Can you grab your ID for me, please? No. Am I being detained sure. for a crime? Okay, why don't you grab your ID for me? No. All it's right. not a crime. Okay, why don't you grab your ID for me All so right. I can identify you? No. Okay, sit tight for just a second. And your name is Guy, who's okay, threatening Okay, I'm a police you, officer. So, you know, I'm a state certified that's police officer. I haven't threatened you at any point. I'm just trying to determine what's going on. Yeah, you've got your hand on your gun. I have my hand resting on my belt. And you're telling me I'm committing a crime, which I'm not. Okay, you're a suspicious party so right now, so I'm just stopping to speak to you. Well, I'm just trying to determine who you are, why you're filming the back area of the police department. That's all I'm doing. Okay, well. You're not. You're refusing to be ID'd right now. You're not going to supply your identification. I'm not going to consent to anything. Okay, I'm not asking you to consent. I'm asking you for your ID so I can be... I lost count, but he's doing that. Again, I'm asking you for your ID. Uh, I'm not asking you to consent. Oh, my face palm. I'm not asking you to consent. I'm just asking you for your ID. Oh, face palm, double face palm, triple face palm. Well, well, my answer are. is no. Okay. You're asking me for it, I'm telling you no. Sit tight for just a second, that's great. Okay, what crime are you detaining me for? You're a suspicious party right now. Because you need reasonable suspicion that right. I'm committing a crime. Right. And what you're, crime? You're a suspicious party right now, wandering around, okay. filming a city that's building. That's fine that you think I'm suspicious, but what crime do you suspect me of committing? Okay, I just explained to you. You can continue to talk in circles. That's, that's not fine. a crime. You told me it's not a crime. I told you that you're a suspicious party who's walking around. But not a of a crime. Filming. Personal Just the vehicles. guy you don't like. I, I've never met you before. So what do you suspect me of doing? I'm not sure. I'm just what I'm trying to determine right now. Well, you need to have that to be able to detain me. Okay, I'm not sure where so you got right your law So right now you're illegally degree. detaining me. No, I'm not. Yeah, conducting you are. an investigation, I'm speaking to you. You are illegally detaining okay. me. If you're just conducting an investigation, I can go. You but you told right me now. I'm being detained. No, you, you are while I conduct an investigation so to try to determine who you are. you need a crime you that you suspect me of committing. Sir, I'm not going to talk over you. I'm going to explain to you what's going on right now. I mean, I'm just explaining you should know the law. You're a police okay. officer. And I, I've already explained to you why I've stopped you and to speak to you. Okay, well. Okay. So the only reason that I'm trying to speak to you is because you're walking around the police department filming the private private areas of the police department, the back of the building, the front of the building. i got to determine who you are. Well, I've explained to you the law that you need to know, so I'm not really okay. going to talk I'm not to sure you where you got your criminal degree or your law degree, but I think you might want to get your money back on that. 
That's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, where'd you get your law degree? Are you a lawyer? Uh, we don't know if I'm a lawyer. We definitely know you're not a lawyer. So, Peck, when this is all said and done, something tells me you're going to be eating crow and uh, going to ask for your money right. back. Sit tight for just a second, sir. This is Officer Schreiner. What's your badge number? 8666. How are you doing? What's going on today? So you're alright, you're shaking a lot. Okay? Do you have identification on you? Are you a resident of Middletown? Sir? Are you suffering from a medical condition? Are you physically okay right now? It's a simple question. Was he in the back corner? Yeah, he was actually right up on the, uh, the back side, one the lower arcade. Uh, oh, we got a real disaster here. You know why we're making contact with you, sir? Sir, do you, are you aware why we're making contact with you? I already informed Officer Peck that I wasn't going to speak to you anymore, so... I, I didn't hear you say that. I apologize. I missed, well, I missed you when you said that. I made it pretty clear. Did you hear what happened in Meriden not too, not too long ago? Sir, did you hear what happened in Meriden not too long ago? I already informed Officer Peck I'm not going to speak to you, so if you have something to say to me, fine, but I'd like to be on my way. Down on the back side, walk... be on your way in a second. I just want to explain to you why we're talking. Okay? Okay. I got about three weeks ago, someone shot about 9 to 15 rounds off in the back of Marion Police Department. Hit cruisers hitting the building. All right, it's kind of heightens our awareness a little bit about people being around the back lot when it's unsecured and we have people coming in. Right? That's why we're. All right. It's the only reason I'm talking to you. I'm aware you're doing anything. I'm aware you're doing anything. I'm aware you're doing anything. Because the weather gets so choppy, uh, there's a cut in the clip. But it sounds like he says, I'm aware that you didn't... The only reason I'm talking to you. I'm aware you didn't do anything. I don't know. That's fine. Have a good rest of your day. Okay. You are aware that you took an oath to uphold the Constitution? You just violated my constitutional rights? You're required to suspect me of a crime before you detain me? Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. So, uh, what crime did you suspect me of committing? Do you feel bad when you violate your oath? You swore an oath to protect the, us and to uphold the Constitution. Do you feel any guilt when you don't uphold that oath? What about you, sir? What's your name and badge number? Officer Maturo. Do you feel guilt when you violate people's constitutional rights? You took an oath to honor the Constitution. How do you feel about that? So there you go, guys. Nine years ago, ID refusal. Have we come further? Are we stagnant? Or have we gone backwards? Um, do the citizens know their rights and um, when they should ID and when they shouldn't ID better? Are the officers doing a better job? Put your comments in the comment section below. Have a safe and happy work week. Tomorrow's Monday. My name is Soy Product News. Good night.